Hey all, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to update the apps on your Ledger Nano S Plus. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do here is open up Ledger Live. Once it opens up, you're going to type in your password. There we go. So now it opens up. It's then going to start syncing on the blockchain here. I just did another recording of another video, so I didn't have to worry about it syncing. It's already uh, synchronized there. But then come on over to my ledger. You're then going to connect your Nano S Plus to your cable. Make sure I'm in focus there on the screen. Perfect. All right. So then it's going to ask you to enter in your pin. Go ahead and select the check mark. And now I am in, as you can see here on the screen, then we'll say allow a secure connection with Ledger. Make sure to click both buttons. All right, so now we are in. It is synchronizing and updating everything here on my Ledger Live. It's loading everything there. It shows me, hey, here are your two apps that are available. Firmware is up to date, so there's no new firmware I need to update, so I don't need to show you that on this video. But let's go ahead here, and I'm gonna show you how to update these apps. So it's Ethereum that needs to be updated. So go ahead and do update all. There would be more listed there if there were other apps that need to be updated, FYI on that, okay? There you go, now you can see that it has fully updated the app on uh, your Ledger Nano. So then if you're cu ever curious here, um, you wanna make sure your firmware is up to date, it's gonna show you right there. A new banner will pop up on the Ledger Live app if you are ever curious, uh, if there's a new update, it will let you know. If you wanna check on the software version of Ledger Live, come on over to the gear icon. Go ahead and select that. Come on over to about. And then right here, I'll show you a version 2.57.0. You can always check the details on the release notes of what it did recently on that update. And uh, yeah, so that is how you update the apps on your Ledger Nano S. And if you're ever curious here, let's say you installed something new. Let's say uh, you installed a Polkadot. So you can see it's installing Polkadot currently. I'm trying to get to focus here. There we go. All right, so then we're installed here, so you're not finished. Make sure to come on over to add account. Then it's gonna start loading. You're gonna have to click both buttons here on the top for open app for Polkadot. Okay, it says it's ready on the device, but then on accounts here, we're gonna have the option to name that particular Polkadot account on our Nano S Plus, okay? So you can do that there, add account, and it'll add it, and you'll be good to go. I'm not gonna do that because I already have Polkadot accounts on other devices. And that is how you update the apps on your Nano S Plus. If you have any questions about this video, put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer in a timely fashion. I love helping you guys out through this journey. Uh, if you wouldn't do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, until next time, I'll see you when I see you.